Welcome to episode 1141 of the Multifamily Collective. Uh, tonight, I want to briefly talk about something that I think is very exciting. I remember a number of years ago, I was at a, uh, I think it was NMHC's Optech conference, I believe. Anyway, I ran into uh, Justin Jasper, who actually works for us now in our business development at uh, Radcliffe Residential, uh, but at the time he was working for SitePlan. And uh, something that I thought was very interesting uh, as it relates to a company like SitePlan um, was the use of drones in the way of data collection. And uh, beyond that, and furthermore, potentially light level property cleanup. Um, and I just, I just read about a, a drone. I think the advancements of drones over the last 24 to 36 months has just been exponential. It's, it's just been nuts and crazy. And some of the things that I, that I've read about uh, the use uh, drones in the consumer space and, and certainly in military grade spaces is just wild, completely off the charts. But anyway, getting off the point. The point is this: uh, a company like SitePlan. Um, my imagination is that very soon, uh, multifamily properties will have drones that dock uh, during the day. Uh, or at night, overnight, to charge whatever they're, they'll just completely run on their own with proximity sensors and things of that nature. But uh, imagine this: your your drones deploy in the morning, let's say five, six, seven o'clock in the morning, and they do a scan of the property. Maybe you have six, maybe you have eight, whatever. It does what whatever size the property you'd have the appropriate number of drones. But the drones would go out; they'd scan the property. Any light level trash that you might have uh, in the parking lot and or um, in the landscape or yard, whatever, the drone would actually have the ability to go out and pick that stuff up and throw it in the nearest dumpster or drop it off in the nearest dumpster. Uh, but it would also take a scan of the areas that would actually need to be addressed by a human. So imagine they could go out five, six, whatever o'clock in the morning, they do their scan, they pick up anything that they can handle on their own, and then they create work orders that go out to your uh, site team. And that allows the site team to focus on areas that need attention rather than trying to walk the entire property in order to find the one or two or 10 or 25 pieces of, of trash. They know exactly where they are because they are the pieces that the drone couldn't handle on their own. I and mean, that's just one use case of a drone, uh, I think, that is completely practical. Um, there are all kinds of other things, roof inspections, certainly gutter, uh, inspections, uh, building, you know, fly around the building and do, uh, site inspections that could then feed into software. Like I'm, I'm going to mention happy Co because we are a client of happy Co and I'm very, very excited about what happy Co does in the way of innovation, but happy Co could receive and collect all of this information by way of the drone. And then, um, create work orders that go out to the appropriate people or just communicate directly with vendors. So in the case of a gutter cleaning, if the drone identifies that the, the gutters are in need of cleaning, they just dispatch the ticket, the gutter guys come out, you get the gutters cleaned, and then there's a, a point of execution or a point of sale transaction that happens. So even the accounting doesn't uh, have to go through a person. But uh, anyway, I get really excited when I read about technology like drones, Internet of Things, the way that things are going to connect on the properties uh, in, in the very, very near future. Uh, if it's not already out there and uh, being baked up in somebody's garage. But anyway encourage you to take a look at drones and drone technology and the way that drones might be administered on your property to help do data collection and, and uh, uh, create uh, a better resident and team member experience. Take care. We'll talk to you again.